Yo, so what's going on guys, it's your boy Laser Gaming. welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now before I start today's video, I do want to apologise if my voice does sound a bit different. I have been extremely ill throughout the whole week, hence the reason for the lack of uploads this week. However, it is Friday and I know a bunch of you guys have been asking me, can I put together a new unlimited money making guide with all of these new cars being released every single week. I know a ton of you guys are in need for some hard earned cash. As you guys know, all of my money making methods are legit, so you don't have to worry about getting banned, but if you guys aren't aware, there has been a new car duplication prevention tool which is getting players instantly banned as soon as they duplicate cars i will be posting a video in a few hours with more information about that in case you guys do use car duplication glitches but in this video all of these methods are legit and like i said it's the weekend so all of you guys can jump online you're all off work off school and make some very fast quick and easy cash and because i've been sick all week with a serious lack of uploads i thought instead of only including one method in today's video i'll go ahead and include three different money making methods in today's video so as always if you guys do enjoy this video or it does help you out in any way shape or form and you do want to see me post more money making guides in the future all i ask is you drop a like down below feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video okay so the first method in this video has got to be by far the funnest and one of the best methods in recent times and that's by making the most of the new special stunt vehicle races if you guys aren't aware i did actually cover this method about a week ago however just today as you guys can see by this article right here rockstar games have gone ahead and extended the double money and rp on all of these brand new races so you guys can earn some absolutely insane payouts now i know a lot of you guys might be confused what is the best way to actually grind these stunt races out for money whether you're doing it with friends or solo so i will quickly just run through what is actually the best way to grind these as i am aware we are all different ranks we all have a different amount of friends we have online and we all have a different amount of time we can actually spend on gta 5 online so by me breaking it down like this you guys can work out what actually suits you guys best so as i did mention first thing i'm going to cover how you guys can grind this method if you guys do want to play solo and like i did mention later in the video i will compare it if you guys have got some friends with you showing the difference in payout that you guys will actually make like i said there can be a lot of benefits to doing this solo because you're always going to be getting the same consistent payout it's not going to drop and there's no risks of you like finishing third fourth or last plus you could consider it as an afk method so it's like stress-free very easy now if you guys are going to do this solo route to grind this method what you actually want to do is be in a free roam session you want to press start go down to playlists and you want to add as many of these races that you want to do when you're grinding this method out so this is completely up to you depending on how long you guys are actually going to spend on the game me i was doing it for roughly just under an hour so what i've done is i added six races they are split into different categories you got the blazer aqua you got the rocket voltic and the ruin of 2000 so i just done two of each race as they're pretty fun races to do i'm not gonna lie it's not gonna feel like you guys are grinding this for money because time really does fly by when you're doing these races so like i said just add as many of these races as you want i would say do a minimum of three just so you guys can get that playlist bonus right at the end when you finish the playlist but other than that like i said you can do 10 in this playlist you can do six just depending on how much money you guys want to make as the payout is not going to drop whatsoever so it is unlimited now once you guys have chosen the races you like the look of go ahead and save this playlist now another tip i'm going to give you guys is maybe choose a bunch of the new races that haven't got a tick next to them because if they've got a tick next to them that means you guys have played the races before so by playing a race that you haven't played before you'll be able to learn the circuit in case you guys come across it again when you're racing your friends giving you guys a little bit of advantage however once you save the playlist simply go up to my playlist and go ahead and launch it as you guys can see i called mine solo money i will actually leave a link to this playlist i'm doing on this video down low in the description if you guys do want to go ahead and use the same playlist as me nonetheless once you guys start the playlist up the first and most important part you guys want to remember is to never finish these races under four minutes that is the most important benchmark to do with these races and how the payouts work so as you guys can see on screen i managed to finish this rocket voltic race in just under four minutes and i only received a measly 5k which is not good at all however if you guys pay attention to the clock in the bottom right by me literally just sitting in this mission for an extra 18 seconds so it passes the four minute mark my money will literally double taking it well over 10k for only four minutes work which is extremely good 
Now an important point to remember is each lap on these new stunt races is literally around three and a half minutes. So a lot of the times you guys will finish these races just under the four minute mark. So you actually want to pay attention to the clock in the bottom right. As I think we can all agree, being able to double your money by only spending an extra 10, 15 seconds in a mission is insane. And you guys will be able to increase that more by spending a further two minutes in a race. So by finishing the race in just over six minutes, your payout will increase by 10K to just under 14K. So about 13 and a half K and a very nice 3600 RP. However, to earn the max payout from doing this solo method, you guys will have to spend a further minute and a half in the race. So it passes the eight minute mark and that will increase yet again to just under $17,000. However, the RP will remain the same around 3600. And that is 100 100% the new cap on all of these races. I know a lot of people have been putting out false information saying spend up to 16 minutes in races to earn the max payout. That is no longer the case. These people do not spend their time testing out these methods for you guys like I do. So as you guys can see on screen, 16 minutes passes in the race and I still receive the same $16,000. The only other way to increase this is with players in your mission. Eight minutes is the time cap to earn the max payout for all of these races. That is another important thing all of these races work the same i've also seen people putting out information saying always do this race because it pays more than the rocket voltic all of that is also bullshit the only determining factors are the players and the time spent in the mission so now you guys know that eight minutes is the time cap you guys saw that you earned about seventeen thousand dollars for spending eight minutes in the mission however if you guys can remember by spending only four minutes in the race we managed to get a very nice ten thousand dollars so if i was to do this race five times times in four minutes i would get fifty thousand dollars which would only take me about 20 minutes because i'm only spending four minutes on each lap whereas if i was to wait the full eight minutes every time i'd be earning around 41k so i'm making ten thousand dollars less every couple races if i was to do the more longer method so you guys like i said can work out what suits you guys best whether you just want to keep on repeating every four minutes to earn the higher payouts or like i said sit afk maybe if you guys just want to watch on my youtube videos or go for your dinner you'll be able to play this game based around you now as i did mention there is another multiplier or another fact that the rockstar do take into account Count when calculating your payout and that is basically the amount of players that are in your race at any given time now i am aware that we all play gta 5 different we all have different amount of friends we can get online and we all even have a different skill ability when it comes to racing some of you guys might be 10 out of 10 beast but you don't have that many friends some of you guys might play with a shit ton of players but you're not that good at racing but i do know one thing is that we all have at least one other friend cousin or brother that we can all play gta 5 with I guarantee all of you guys at least know one other person that you've played computer with over the years that is usually your go-to person when it comes to either grinding money or just having a bit of jokes online. So taking that into account, as I mentioned earlier, you guys will be earning 10k by doing this solo for just four minutes, but by getting one other person in your race, you guys will be earning an extra $4,000 every single time for literally just doing nothing, exactly just over four minutes, but by having one other person in your race, you're able to earn an extra extra 4k every single race and your friend you might be thinking oh well he's only going to get 2k there's no point of him doing it no he will still be earning a very nice nine thousand eight hundred dollars so practically the same as if you was doing it solo just slightly less because you guys earn 10k he's going to be earning nine and a half but for only four minutes of racing i think we can all agree that is extremely high so i can see why a lot of people might want to do you win one race and then you let your friend win one race and then you win one race because by doing it that way you'll actually be earning in, like I said more than by doing it by yourself solo because you're also going to be getting that player bonus and because the loser still gets 9k which is only a couple hundred dollars less for coming first solo you guys really have nothing to lose out by getting an extra friend in here and the time bonus will also include if you guys are doing it with a friend so you will be able to earn up to $18,000 for going just over six minutes and your friend will also earn a very nice 12 and a half and of course if you guys go to the max cap time of eight minutes spent in the race one of you guys will be earning a very nice 22 and a half K while the other one is still going to be getting a very nice fifteen and a half thousand dollars so let's say you won one then your friend won one we're talking a guaranteed just under 30k for completing just two races which in all honesty if you guys have played these stunt races like i said will not even feel like half the time because they're so goddamn fun and unique i've got to say me personally as you guys probably know i'm not the biggest racing fan in gta 5 online but i can still appreciate this goddamn dlc for the pure fun and unique factor to 
it. So now you guys are fully clued up on how to maximize the payouts depending on the time spent in the game or the number of players. It is worth mentioning, of course, you guys can take another route and chance your luck by going into a bigger lobby with much more players. Of course, naturally, it's not really a method by doing it this way, hence the reason why I broke the method down earlier. But this way, obviously, is going to offer you guys bigger rewards with bigger risks. So now you guys understand how to maximize the payout. These payouts should make much more sense to you guys. So as you guys can see here, with just six players, the winner was able to earn a very nice $28,000 for spending just over six minutes in the game. Here you can see six players for going under four minutes was only $10,000. However, with 16 players, so a full lobby, you guys will only be earning up to 26K if the race finishes under four minutes. And like I did say, every single player will count towards that winner's final pay. So as you guys can see here, 16 players. If one player was to back out during the loader menu or before it starts, the winner's bonus is gonna decrease yet again down to 24K. So as you guys can see here, 15 players under four minutes is the usual lap time you guys will see when doing these races the winner only got 24k so when you guys see these payouts take into mind what i showed you guys earlier i'm pretty sure you guys will be able to use your brain to stack some serious money best suited to how you guys play the game nonetheless moving straight into method two in this video and all you real subscribers will know that i missed out on a video this week and it was a video that i upload every single week and that's how to complete the brand new time trials so the only reason i didn't upload it is because like i said right at the start of the video I've been extremely ill. I have done the time trial, but I could not do any commentary over this time trial for you guys. Trust me, if you think my voice sounds bad at the moment, if you guys would have heard me at the start of the week, it sounded like I smoked about 400 cigarettes back to back with two cigars and I let someone pour bleach down my throat. I was officially fucked up. However, like I said, I have completed this week's time trial and I have seen all the comments from you guys. Where the fuck is the time trial? I even saw some other GTA YouTubers like, shit man, this time trial is fucking hard this week. <laughs> they were like, boy, Boys, boys, relax. Laser's here to save the day. The weekend's about to start. So it's still plenty of time for you guys to go ahead and give it a go. It might be a bit harder than your average time trial, but you guys know me. There is no time trial in this game that I have yet to complete. Hey, so this week's time trial is called Coast to Coast and has a part time of only 2 minutes 29, which, which is a great thing once again. Very short, very quick. So in case you guys do fail it for any reason, you can just jump back on your bike, hold down Y or Triangle and respawn right at the start of the race. So you won't be losing out on too much time. Now, here's the location of the race. As you can see, it is called Coast to Coast because we're basically going to be driving from the West Coast to the East Coast. Now, once you guys arrive at the time trial, you just want to drive into the purple circle and press right on the D-pad so you start the time trial. Once you guys start it, you can now see the finish line. So you basically want to press start and then set a waypoint to the finish line. Now, you guys will notice as soon as you guys set the waypoint to the finish line, it will give you guys a waypoint going straight through the center of the map past the big lake in the middle. We're not actually going to be following this waypoint. We just want to set that waypoint because we're going to be taking the outer highway across the top of the map and be taking a few turns which will save us a bunch of time making this time trial easily doable by all of you guys. So as you guys can see when you arrive at the time trial you want to be facing towards the highway not backwards towards the dirt road. Now as soon as you guys are facing the highway pop a wheelie as soon as you start it try and hold it for as long as possible. As soon as you get onto the road hold down A or forward then pop a wheelie to increase your speed again. Now you can switch over to the other side of the lane because you're going to be taking an immediate right. I would suggest holding down A or X to lean forward for this right. Then once you get onto this straight right here, it will look like there's a few turns, but all you want to do is stay central to the road and you'll be able to cut straight through that and then get straight onto this main. Now, once you guys get onto this main road, it's pretty self-explanatory. Get into the center of the road or to the right of the road as there is no cars whatsoever in these lanes. So all you have to do is concentrate on holding a wheelie as much as possible. Literally just hold it down as much as you can. Keep popping them every two seconds. And when you guys can't do wheelies or you don't want to, just hold down A on the Xbox or X on the PlayStation to lean forward. Then you want to take an immediate right as you can see turning up. Definitely hold down X or A on the PlayStation when you're taking turns and try and stick as close to the inner side of the road to save yourself a few seconds. Now from here, it's pretty self-explanatory once again. All you want to do is try and hold down the wheelie for as long as possible like you can see me doing on screen. And when you guys are dodging in between cars, which to be fair, if you stay on the right side of the road like I am, there is no cars whatsoever in this lane. This is by far one of the easiest time trials I have done in months. Now in case you guys are wondering, I'm using the Bati A01 motorbike. I've seen it done in the Hakuchu or the Akuma. These three bikes are the fastest. So if you own any three of those bikes, you should be able to do this straight away. 
or if you guys do prefer supercars I've also seen a friend do it in a T20 so it's easily be doable in a T20 also however here's the important bit coming up as soon as you guys exit this little tunnel you want to stick to the left side of the road because we're going to take in this little turn off road switching lanes because the next turn coming up here is going to be on the left side and there is no turning on the R side of the road so as you guys can see I actually messed up here quite heavily smashed through a gate losing about three four five seconds I don't know but this should prove to you guys that even if I messed up again smashed into a car this should prove to you guys that even if you mess up and make a few mistakes you'll still be able to do this time trial very easily and in your first few attempts you guys should know that time trials usually are very strict you have to do a very clean run however just do what I'm doing on screen that little turn into that fence that's literally only the hard bit of this time trial and that is still incredibly easy so just take your time with that turn in that I messed up on just literally slow down and you should be able to complete this straight away you want to go over this little bridge right here holding down a if I was you I wouldn't even bubble popping wheelies for this bit you want to cut in between these little trees and then bang you guys will see the finish line in sight a nice easy 52k in literally two minutes this is not a gta 5 money glitch this is perfectly legitimate i would actually suggest you guys do stay away from money glitches if you don't know already because rockstar games usually patch them very quickly so you guys end up wasting a bunch of your time and you're just risking being banned and losing all your cars and all your money that you might have worked very hard for however moving straight to the third and final method in this video and this is one of my personal Personal favorite methods a method that I come up with myself and this is one that I usually like to grind daily with a bunch of my crew members because it's so goddamn easy the pay is consistent and you guys will see in just a second it requires no work whatsoever and that's basically by combining the CEO work with the challenges continuously so there's no cooldown period there's tons of different ways to do this and tons of different collaborations i've tried out a bunch over the months and i've got to say hands down flat rate this is the easiest because it's practically an afk method afk meaning away from keyboard so you guys can practically sit back eat your dinner watch movies and still be earning money in the background there isn't a better feeling Okay, so first things first, you guys want to go ahead and obviously register as a CEO or a VIP so you're able to launch any VIP work or challenge. Now, if you guys are very, very new to GTA 5 and you're still even unable to do this, all you guys want to do is leave a comment down below underneath this video with your PSN or your gamer tag and just say need CEO. I'm sure it won't take that long until you get some replies. So once you guys are in a free roam session and you've registered as a CEO, you now want to hire one associate. That's all you guys will need is one associate. So I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys have at least one friend or one crew member that you can invite to do this with or as i just mentioned a minute ago you guys can just look in the comment section down below and find yourself an associate or you can leave a comment yourself and say i'm a ceo looking for an associate on whatever console you're on nonetheless the majority of the time if i'm going off personal experience if you guys just want to go into a public session and just spam out invites to random players you don't even need this player to be good you just need him to join your ceo so it's very very easy to get someone to join your ceo coming from someone that actually plays gta 5 daily i've sent out a bunch of invites to random people every time and i always get people joining my session and i'm able to do this method with them straight away no hesitation of course it's always best to do it with a friend but like i said if you guys have no friends or whatsoever that play gta 5 don't worry you won't be missing out on any friend bonuses or anything like that they usually earn from doing contact missions so going off feedback from my previous money guides you guys seem to really like it when i start these money guides as if i just jumped on gta 5 for the first time on the day so as you guys can see on screen i'm outside my office the maze bank office right now i've got a crew member to become an associate so now he's an associate what you guys want to do the first thing you guys want to launch is go down to vip challenges and you want to start most wanted and as i did mention earlier of course everyone now knows different work and different challenges however it's the method we're going to be using to complete this which just makes this method so goddamn easy you really can't complain so as you guys can see i actually started most wanted from outside of my office you guys don't have to do this the reason why i'm doing it for the video is just so you guys can clearly see a bit of a route on how i actually get to the location that we have to that the police won't be able to get us so if you guys have never done this before and you're completely baffled of what's going on right now most wanted is a challenge between you and the fellow organization members to survive the longest with a five star wanted level however i remember back in the day i started this unexpectedly on one of my friends trying to troll him so he can get five stars after him and he ended up just driving and driving and he ended up discovering this little location 
location which i'm going to show you on screen right now that is just the perfect afk spot to complete this straight away without any stress so all you want to do is do as i'm doing on screen follow this train track keep driving straight and then we're going to park up just on the right side of this train track where the police won't be able to get us the great thing about this like i said it's perfectly legit as you guys can see we just found the perfect spot to avoid the cops getting us without using any glitches any wall breaches or any exploits like that i'm going to pull up once again so you guys can see the exact location that i am but nonetheless this is it from here we don't have to waste time driving around wasting bullets on enemies we literally just park up and sit back watch some youtube videos eat our food crack some jokes and we are getting paid this is why i've got to say it is by far one of the best if not the best method right now to farm some insane money from and i must also add this is only the first part to this method there is still another part to come which will be increasing our money which will be earning us more money and also in case you guys forgot from the intro i'm also going to be showing you how you can increase and earn some bonuses whilst you're just doing this so as you guys can see on screen right now as soon as the challenge is over it only takes 10 minutes for sitting afk we receive a nice 21k now if that wasn't good enough like i said as soon as that finishes all you guys want to do is drive up to where i am pull up your interaction menu go down to secure our serve go down to vip work this time and then we want to start executive search and then bang as you guys can see it starts straight away because we're already sitting in the executive search plus we're still underground now if you guys remember earlier on the video i said a lot of people are going around in public sessions just doing crates so to be honest with you the majority of people won't even acknowledge you in their session we're actually in a public session right now as you guys can see on screen and we never actually got bothered once and i've done this for a good four or five hours earlier today so if you guys remember that's the reason why i started the most wanted challenge first rather than the executive search because once you guys start the most wanted challenge you and your association will be put on passive mode so even if players in your session want to come over and try to bother you and kill you they still won't be able to so they'll end up giving up by the time you get around to doing this executive search it's more than likely they're going to think fuck those guys are just in passive mode acting like bitches underground and as you guys can see exactly like my most wanted challenge just a second ago i'm going to fast forward this gameplay and as soon as 10 minutes passes instead of getting 21k we get a nice 25k this time taking my total to 46k for just sitting afk under a bridge and this is what i'm saying to you guys when i emphasize how epic and sick this method is i legit mean this is a sick method to farm out and as you guys can probably see all i done was drive five seconds back to the most wanted spot pull up my interaction menu go down to vip challenges bang most wanted started again and it is as simple as that you can literally keep on repeating this process as much as you like now this is good enough as it is i was doing this method right here perfectly for weeks on end until recently i thought to myself hold on hold on a second you guys know i'm the man when it comes to making legit money on this game so we're even able to increase this by using our brain after the latest dlc so what you guys are seeing right now is from my perspective the ceo however if i switch things up and go to the associates point of view you guys will see that the associate is actually receiving an extra 5k every 15 minutes from securo serve literally just for being my bodyguard as well as 200 rp every 45 seconds just for sitting next to me so staying in my proximity he receives 200 rp as well as 5k every 15 minutes now you're able to actually increase that 5k up to 10k very easily so as you guys just saw on screen my bodyguard ended up receiving 9k instead of 5k and basically to increase your secure or serve wages all you have to do is basically do buy missions from your office so every buy mission that you complete if you guys don't know what a buy mission is that's just when you go and get a crate and deliver it to your warehouse every time your associate helps you out for one of those his wages will go up by $500 so by far the best thing to do straight away as soon as you get on whoever's the CEO just do a few of those because receiving an extra 10k every 15 minutes literally does add up very very quickly so as you can see on screen as soon as we finish that most wanted again I get another easy 21k taking my total to a nice 66k already however for my associate he's currently sitting on 86k because he received two secure wages plus if you guys 
want to work out the maths of 200 RP every 45 seconds. I can't even be bothered to work out the math. All I know that equals a lot of RP. And as I did mention, I'm not lying when I say we was doing this in a public session. You can see these randoms running around our map. A few even tried to get near us. But like I said, when you're doing the most wanted, it looks like you're in passive mode. So there is very few people in the world that will literally just sit around and look at you for 10 minutes. <laughs> but like I said earlier as well, most lobbies nowadays only have about five or six, seven people until people start backing out trying to find empty sessions. So if you do have like one or two people in your session, don't even bother backing out yet. What you can just try doing is driving more up the tunnel and then start an executive search. That's another great thing about this area. If you guys have played executive search before, you'll know that there's a few different locations in this spot that you can go and hold off. I believe the docks is one, Cypress Flats is another one, and obviously this tunnel where we are right now. So all in all, all of these executive search places are less than a mile to drive from that tunnel, as you guys can see on screen, literally here in a couple of seconds. Now I'm also going to fast forward this gameplay just to prove to you guys that we do receive another 25k. This is another great thing about this method. The payout never decreases or increases depending on how much you've done it or how long you've spent in certain locations. It is literally the same every single time. And because it's unlimited, as soon as we finish the executive search, bang, all we have to do is start up another most wanted and that's another 45k in our bank. So there we go guys, three epic money making methods working right now after the patch is 1.38 on the PlayStation, Xbox and PC. I do apologize if this video did drag on slightly longer than usual. It's as you guys could tell, it was virtually impossible for me to make this any short and go into full details on how you guys can maximize the most amount of money from each of these methods. Hopefully you guys do appreciate me putting this video together for you guys. It has taken me a long time to put this video together. So all I ask is you return the favor by dropping a like down below and feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.